Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next polish review video and I'm using a few different colors and I'm trying to do something um, specific to the um, I'm going to a male review <laughs> thing tonight with um, some girlfriends so I wanted to do something kind of really fun and different and I'm going to use my um, my stripper plates because um, I feel like it's just fitting and um, I'm just kind of wearing just like some skinny jeans and like a <clears throat> one shoulder top and it's just a like khaki and white stripes so I wanted to kind of kind of incorporate the colors a little bit but then also use something kind of that will go with this um, Born Pretty store um, water decal which my demo for this and application of this should be up before this one um, and it has a little bit of like orange in there so the colors that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this LA Girl um, this one is called Light Show and I picked this one because it's a black light polish it's I want, wanted to initially do something like a bright color like I initially was going to use this one from Fresh, Fresh Paint but because this one is black light I figured this would be more fun and I think I, I don't know I've never been to a male review but most of the ones I've seen on YouTube kind of are in like a black light dark I don't know so we'll see if this actually works um, in the light I mean it shows up under my UV lamp or whatever but so this is the um, unfortunately it's got one of the little baby china glaze brushes which I'm not too thrilled about so that's gonna be one color I'm gonna use and then I am debating between using and if I didn't mention this is called light show this color club um, holographic called um, cherubic which I'm pretty sure I've you I, I know I've used this it's a holographic I've used like I don't think there's a holographic I've yet to use well there's a couple but it's just a this one dries really fast and I just wanted something a little bit shimmery um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to use this one by Julep Emmy Lou I think this is um, yeah, this is some. This one came out in 2015. Not exactly sure like what month it came out, but that is the formula. Um, so I might incorporate multiple different colors. I still haven't decided. So I'm gonna do like some half nail design. So maybe I'll do like one nail with this, these two colors, and then another nail with these two. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, but so let me go ahead and get set up and I will be back once I've decided officially what I'm going to do. I am back and this is what the finished polish application looks like. I just did a little bit of switching of the placement of the lighter um, polishes on both hands just so kind of give it that variation that I like. Kind of switch it up so it kind of looks a little bit more funky, a little bit more different. Um, so the um, LA Girl Disco Brights, the black light polish. This one is a very thin formula and um, this is two coats. I did do two coats of each one. I don't have on any top coat except for on the nail applique because I did that yesterday. But the other regular polishes I don't have on any top coat at all. Um, so this one I will say this black light one um, it is a very thin and kind of sheer. So you, I use two coats. I would say I might apply a third just to get it a little bit more opaque. So this is one that you would probably want to put either a white underneath of it or a color, another like orange that's very similar to this. That way it'll be nice and, you know, opaque for you. Um, but I will say the it did apply fairly nicely. It was like a smooth application. There were a little bit of patches, but not too bad. But it was a very easy polish to apply. I didn't get any mess at all, which was very nice. Um, it wasn't runny. Um, it's not too thin to the point where it runs and pulls up at the base of the nail or anything. The formula is good. It just needs to be more opaque. That's the only downside. And I want to say these I generally see at beauty supply stores and occasionally and at Rite Aids. Um, I think, yeah, Rite Aids has a, a decent collection of the LA Girl polishes. And now I can't 
say that you'll find the Disco Brights, but I have found like some of their glitters and some of their other ones at Rite Aid. They have different, a bunch of different lines within the overall collection. So, and they're fairly, fairly inexpensive, but I found these at the, at, um, I can't believe I can't think of the name. It's my favorite beauty supply store down in Atlanta at Stonecrest Mall. It's, I'm drawing a blank, but that's where I got those. And then, um, um, Emmy Lou by Julep. This one, the formula is fairly thick. And the main issue, again, is always with the brush. Like, it's not, well, not the brush, but because it's a tall bottle. Um, so you have to be make sure you scrape all the way from the top all the way to the tip of the brush because what happens is the polish on the back if you leave any it runs down and you'll get way too much on your nail and then it will put pull um, this one is fairly opaque in one coat like you could if you can get the perfect application you could totally do it with one coat um, it's again on the thicker side and I did again do two coats of all three polishes um, but very nice um, that neutral or nude for some if you're more fair skinned um, but like I said it is thicker so you do want to be careful of how thick of a coat you try to apply because it will make the drying time a little bit longer but I love the brush the brush is nice like I could pretty much just almost do one full swipe down my pinky nail and that be it because it's that wide it fans out nicely I got really great lines you know at the base of the nail um, just love the brush if all polishes either have brushes like this or the um, Nina Ultra Pro polishes especially China Glaze they need to upgrade the size of their brushes but overall I do like this one if you do like that it's kind of like that concealer concealer look um, type of color fair concealer but um, very nice um, shiny on its own as well as the black light polish and then lastly this is one I'm almost 100% sure that um, I've used this one before and it's just like all the other color club halo hues um, formulas it is a thinner formula it um, dries really really quickly applies really really well um, and again I did two coats and um, it's not quite as glossy or shiny as the other two but it does have its own kind of it is it's almost like it's like a satin type of finish almost but once you put on your top coat it will pop and look amazing um, I kind of wish I would have did a little bit more orange but I think what I'm going to do is do half of some of the tan ones with orange just to kind of brighten it up because the tan and the holographic tan are kind of like very very kind of neutral so I do want to kind of punch it up so I think that's what I'm going to do with that and um, hopefully it will be a little bit more opaque since there's a base color underneath so I would um, definitely recommend the Halo Hughes holographic the one thing I did notice though when I first started wearing them um, is that they do chip kind of quickly so you may want to be careful depending upon the top coat you use I have found have gotten more longevity with m using my UV IBD UV top coats just using regular top coats I noticed that it didn't last as much or you might want to consider applying like a layer of top coat every day or every other day just to keep it sealed and from chipping but or make sure you apply a nice kind of thicker top coat um, like Sesh Vite or the Jealous but or your UV top coat so I definitely recommend them all course my favorite would be the holographic I do really like this orange it's not like too bright but it does stand out among against the other one but so um yeah really reasonably priced julep they're more on the pricier side but I definitely would recommend all three of these um so let me know if you have either of these or do you know some um, great dupes for either of these. I'm pretty sure there are some because every color has this, every brand has this like concealer nude type of shade. Especially now where I think these nudes are kind of the trend right now. But 
Leave your questions, comments down below. Thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a fabulous day. Bye.